Of the nine females, most have already lost their babies. The little ones are irresistible to all. The mothers now have a problem protecting their infants from the overweening curiosity of their aunts and great aunts. There is a hierarchy that extends throughout the troop, but it's not very strict. Squabbles often arise, and sometimes the young are the losers. Here, the mother hardly dares to protect her infant from the intrusive aunt, who is unfortunately dominant over her. But it can get milk only from its mother. To be away from her for too long can be dangerous, so she finally tears it free, in a manner of speaking. But the troop has not come out here to fight. There are lots of delicious snacks here, like tarantulas. First, the youngster looks to see whether anyone stronger than him will challenge his right to the morsel. Then, he has to be quick and clever. A tarantula bite is very painful. A juicy meal is his reward for taking the risk. Here, their usual food, spiced with a touch of antacid, is easy to get. Military monkeys feed most often widely spaced out to avoid conflict over small scraps of food that can't be shared. This makes them less sociable than most other primates. The thorny plants have other fans. Giraffes are also only slightly inconvenienced by the ants. With their long tongue and highly flexible lips, they take their share of the fresh leaves from between the sharp thorns. Nevertheless, like the military monkeys, they usually leave after a few bites at one branch. After a while, the ants biting and spraying acid become just too annoying. In the afternoon, the giraffes go to drink at the river. Like a dark tunnel, thick gallery forest closes off a large part of the bank. Grumetti drains the central Serengeti. Now, in March, it is a stately stream. Its waters mean life to many animals in the west of the park. Small groups of wildebeest even break away from the main migratory herds to spend the whole year in the pastures beside the river. They sometimes come to the river bank at a few narrow access points, and the crocodiles know these places. These resident wildebeest usually avoid drinking at the river. They know the danger that lurks in the water. The crocodiles can move incredibly fast. Not many wildebeest are so lucky. The disturbance has alerted the old crocodile bull. He has nothing against females in his part of the river, but other large males have no business here. The heavy armor plating is proof against most bites, so that fights like this seem more serious than they really are. The stranger gets the message, this section is occupied. In the evening, the baboons gather at the river. The huge old trees on the banks serve them as excellent sleeping quarters because they feel safer in large groups at night. Together, in an emergency, they can defend themselves even against a leopard. Further out on the dusty plains, the military monkeys too are going to rest. But they have a very different method from the baboons. Each animal finds a place for itself alone. Quietly and secretly, the band settles down. This is the first time military monkeys have been filmed settling for the night. They are too weak to defend themselves against big cats, and a group could be conspicuous, attracting unwanted visitors in the night, 
so each one hides individually. <laughs> 